They've picked themselves up in training tremendously well this week and um, I'm just so pleased with the, with the way we've got the got over the line today. Jemmy certainly picks his moments. Who's that? Jem. Oh, Jem, sorry. Um, yeah, well, listen, great tribute to him because he made his debut last week and um, scored a great goal today. And But not just that, his all-round performance gave the team real energy in there and quality on the ball as well, so very pleased with him. And like I've been saying all along, sometimes in seasons it's... People emerge, you know, who haven't had much limelight as the season's gone along, and um, you know, come and uh, produce key moments. And Jem did that today. I think if the fans could choose two goal scorers, they'd be David Weeter and Adam Lafondra. Yeah, please for Weeter, and um, you know, he's kind of typified everything we wanted at the club this year. We said to the lads first day pre-season that we wanted to help the lads who were here last year rebuild their individual reputations. Um, and David uh, has been outstanding, not just in the, in the way he's played, but the way he has been around the training ground. And you know, I'm so pleased for him. And obviously, Alfie, you know, his all-round game has been good. Recently, he hasn't got the goals, you know, he, he would like, but he's contributed in other ways. And uh, you know, that's, a, that's great for him to, to finish the season in style. A great turnaround for the club in the past 12 months. Yeah, well, you look at it, that Sheffield United have taken six years, I think, to get out of this league. It's a difficult league to get out of, and every team which came to the Macron Stadium, it's like a cup final for them. Every away game, um, you know, we take a large following, and it makes it a bigger game for the home team. So we've had to, to deal with that, and, um, you know, it's a, it's a great turnaround for us. I think you've got to look at it as just a start and the club rebuilding back back forward. And um, But the platform and, and the foundations are, are stronger than they have been for a while, and uh, we've now got to look to to move the club forward. You can see how much it meant to the fans today. Yeah, I thought all season that the supporters kind of gradually got behind the team more and the club more and more. And today was a kind of culmination of that and a great scenes at the end and show what it meant to the town of Bolton um, to get promotion and get the good times back. And uh, I'm pleased for every one of those supporters. And you now I remember the ones who came to Wimbledon away, came to Bristol Rovers away, supporters. Came to Rochdale away after that disappointment, but then turned up again at Bury uh, and local derby. And I thank every single one of the supporters for the hard-earned money they've spent uh, following us this season. And um, I hope they enjoy the weekend or the, the next few days as much as I'm going to. This was the aim when you joined the club to get us promoted. How delighted are you to get us um, over the line? Yeah, well, everyone. A lot of people have said to me about, oh, for you and the staff, was it a good decision to leave Bradford? And I said, I'll let you know when, when the season's finished, and then we've got to make it a good decision. And um, you know, all the all the staff have worked so hard, and you know, there's a lot of happy people in that in that dressing room and in the bar now because um, football season nine months it's a, it's a long long old stretch, and um, you get some good times, some bad times. You've got to keep picking yourselves up, and uh, I feel we've done that really well as a group, and we've got a very very strong staff at the club, not just the the, the people who came with me to across from Bradford, but the ones who were here when we came in. You know, Jimmy Phillips, Nicky Spooner, David Lee, just to name but a few. Um, all the medical staff have really, really worked with us and, and that's really important for me because you don't become successful if you have a, a split group in terms of behind the team and everybody's pulled together. Now you enjoy the celebrations before turning attention to the 2017-18 Skybet Championship season. Yeah, well, it sounds good. Uh, yeah, well, listen, it's very, very important we enjoy it. We sit back and savour this moment because, you know, all supporters watch the playoffs and watch scenes like that at the end and think we want to be part of that we want to get some of that and we've had a taste of it today and uh, it felt good congratulations thank you very much cheers thanks